Okay, so before beginning, I would like to give you a brief recap of what we have done as of now. So we first of all created our Google Classroom account. After that, we went into the People's tab and we added teachers and students. After that, we also tried to write some comments using the Stream tab. After that, we went into Classwork and created an organizational structure for our course contents through adding topics. Now, before you begin, I hope you have added topics to your course and also you have material ready that has to be uploaded into these topics. If not, please do prepare your materials that you would like to be added to the corresponding topics. Now, I'm going to give you a simple step-by-step -step procedure to add the materials to the topics the ingredients to the dish so first of all I'm going to create a new topic just a revision so what you do is you go to create you click on topic and now you write the name of the topic so let's say the topic that I'm going to do is regularization so I write regularization and I click on add so this topic has been added now i want to add some material to this topic again i'm going to go on create go to this material tab you will see this screen which asks you for some fields the first is title so let's say i write basics or let's say introduction to regularization now you can also specify some description if you want. So let's say this material corresponds to the basics of regularization. This is an optional field. You may leave it. Now, there are these two options. We want to first of all consider the add option. Now for the add option, if you click, what you see is you can add your materials from four sources. The first is Google Drive, the second is link, the third is file and the fourth is YouTube. So these are the four important sources. Google Drive here. This is the drive that is corresponding to your Gmail account. If you now see your Gmail account, you will see that there will be a classroom folder that would have been created in which whatever content you upload into the classroom will be available. Link would correspond to adding material from anywhere across the internet. Third, the file option would ask you to upload some file from your own device. Fourth, YouTube. This would allow you to add a file from YouTube. We are going to undertake all of these four options and see how we can add material to them. So the first one is Google Drive. This is very simple. You just have to click on Google Drive. You will see your drive here. Now what you just have to do is you have to select the material that you want to upload. Of course, your materials should be uploaded into the drive first. So let's say I want to upload this PPT, which is regularization one. So you select it and then you click on add. You can see that the, power the PowerPoint presentation has come in here. Now this can be any type of material. It could be a PPT. It could be an audio file. It could be a video file. It could be a Word document. This could be anything second option that we have is link now here you can add a link from the internet now, for example this is one common link that is used and we can post it over here so we post the link over here and we say add link so this is the way to add material from drive and link the rest of them we will see in the next video thank you